House Republicans have introduced a bill to rename Washington, D.C.'s Dulles Airport after Donald Trump. Because airports are a lot like Trump, a chaotic nightmare that turns you against your own family. <laughs> A United Airlines flight from Germany was forced to return to the airport after the toilet broke and leaked into the cabin. Though it's the perfect punishment for people who take their shoes off on planes. <laughs> Primate expert Jane Goodall celebrated her 90th birthday by gathering together with 90 dogs, then feeding them all to her apes. A lawsuit against Ye, a former employee, claims that Ye compared himself to Hitler minus the gas chambers. And I, for one, am shocked to hear that Ye believes in the Holocaust. <laughs> it was reported that the man who married a conjoined twin is facing a paternity lawsuit from his ex-wife. Great, the last thing that guy needs is another mouth to feed. <laughs> Experts are saying that two different broods of cicadas will hatch this month, releasing trillions of cicadas into the U.S. And Biden is just letting them in. <laughs> Scientists in Portugal have accidentally created a mouse embryo that has an extra leg where its genitals should be. And brother, same. <laughs> Yours is the size of a mouse's leg? <laughs> no, no, wait, no, 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 take that joke back. We already locked it in. Well, this <laughs> I'm learning a lot. A man diagnosed with schizophrenia has been given a support dog that can help him determine what is real and what is a hallucination. But the craziest part is there's no dog. <laughs> a stone vial discovered in Iran contained a red cosmetic that experts say was likely used as lipstick nearly 4,000 years ago by an ancient skank. <laughs> Weather experts are forecasting that this year we'll see the highest number of hurricanes ever thanks to an abnormally active summer of gay weddings. <laughs> This week, Live with Kelly and Mark reran an episode from 2023 in which host Kelly Ripa begs to go on Diddy's yacht. <laughs> Even crazier, SNL is airing an episode right now with a guy who was on Diddy's yacht last week. <laughs> it was also reported Friday that the U.S. economy added over 300,000 jobs. Unfortunately, most of them are bridge fixer. <laughs> Iowa's final four game against UConn was the most watched women's college basketball game ever with 14.2 million viewers, beating the previous record by 14.2 million viewers. <laughs> Just today, Donald Trump posted on Truth Social that he wasn't scared of going to jail for violating a gag order saying, I will gladly become a modern day Nelson Mandela. <laughs> Unfortunately for Halloween, well, yesterday, everyone in New York pretended they felt an earthquake. <laughs> Just admit it, you thought it was wind. <laughs> this earthquake was actually the best possible disaster. It was kind of like the time I saw my dad in the shower. It was a little scary. There was no permanent damage, but I'm going to remember it for the rest of my life. <laughs> At a campaign rally, <laughs> former President Trump said he would debate President Biden anytime, any place. And then he pointed to an empty podium on the stage. And now Trump and Biden are both polling 80 points behind the podium. <laughs> In a new interview, Donald Trump also claimed that President Biden was high on cocaine during the State of the Union, saying he was all jacked up at the beginning. By the end, he was fading fast. Huh, it almost sounds like Donald Trump knows exactly what it feels like to be on cocaine. You know, like at the beginning, you've got a lot of energy. But then, by the end, you're fading fast. I just recently heard that Saudi Arabia and Russia will be doing <laughs> The Florida Supreme Court has allowed the state's six-week abortion ban to take effect. So now Florida's only remaining method for ending a pregnancy is roller coasters. <laughs> 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 
Donald Trump said at a rally that he would make November 5th Christian Visibility Day. Wait, I thought that was called Ash Wednesday. <laughs>